Hey guys, and welcome back to another Unreal Engine 4 and 5 tutorial. So in today's video, it's going to be a nice, quick and simple one, where we're going to be creating a spline-based camera system, mainly for a side-scroller game. So let me just hit play and show you what we're going to make today. So you can see, we have our camera looking at the player like so, and as I go forwards, the camera's going to go forwards, and as I go back, it's going to go back as well. So the camera is going to be following the player and where we go, however, this isn't attached to the player blueprint, so it doesn't actually matter where the player goes, it is just purely based on a spline. So you can see this spline here. This is where the camera is going to go. So for example, if I were to just move this piece all the way up here, it's going to look terrible, but you can see that it is following the spline, not following the player. So you can see it's kind of gone up there like that. It didn't go up as high, but that is just purely because of there's not a lot of points in between. So if I were to just keep adding in loads of different points in here, like so it would do it because that's how it's working it's not just following the white line it's following the different points as well so again this is going to look very very janky but just to get the point across of how this is working it's going to kind of go up and then it's going to snap between them but you can see it's on the left up there and it kind of snaps down again because i haven't got any on the right there but you can see how that's working it's going from these points all the way here like so so the more points you have the more smooth the camera is going to be but it's very very easy and simple to set up to go where you want to have a custom camera track as you can see here so you can go where you want in a level without specifically having to follow the player so this is what we're going over and creating today so without further ado let me do this code and i'll show you how i've done it so the first thing we're going to want to do is we want to actually create this camera spline blueprint so i'm going to hit Control space to open our content browser right click go to blueprint class and we're going to create an actor I'm going to simply just name this BP underscore camera spline and I'll open this up straight away. In here all we're going to do is add in a spline, not a spline mesh, just a spline. We'll compile, save that and that's all we need to do in here. We're not doing anything else, we just want a spline that we can put in our level and we just want to do it in a blueprint so it's nice and easy. So we can close that right away. Now we're going to open up our character blueprint. So for me that's third person, blueprints, BP, third person character. But you can do this in third, first, or whatever you've named it. Now in here, I'm going to hold down P, left click to get event begin play. Or you can just right click and search for it. And immediately out of this, what we're going to do is get actor of class. The actor class is going to be the one we just created. So BP underscore camera spline. Or if I could actually do that properly. There we go, BP camera spline. Then we're going to right click the return value. and promote it to a variable, naming this camera spline or camera spline reference and we'll compile and save that so we're just getting a reference to the camera spline that we have in the level and because we're only going to have one we can just do get actor of class here then underneath this we want to actually do the code to move the camera to the camera spline so i'm also going to be doing this in a nice smooth efficient way which will give us a nice smooth camera movement look which you typically see in side scroller games so let's right click and get event tick. Now we are doing this on tick, but don't worry, it is perfectly fine as we're not doing a lot and you can still use event tick if you need to. Then we're gonna drag out and get the follow camera. Out of the follow camera, we're going to set world location, connecting that into the event tick there. So we're setting the location of our camera in the world like so. But what do we want to set it to? Well, we want to set it to the location on the spline. So we'll get a reference to our camera spline reference here. Out of this, we're going to get the spline. So that should be at the bottom here, just get spline. And then out of this, we're going to find location closest to world location. And the world location is going to be get actor location. So just the player's current location. So basically the closest point of the spline to the player is where we want the camera to be. And we want the coordinate space to be world, not local, we want it to be world. Then we're going to get another reference to our camera up here, drag out of this and get world location. Out of the world location of this, we're going to get a V interp 2. The target being the return value from the find location closest to world location. Because what this is going to do is it's going to smoothly move from the camera's current location to the location of the spline closest to the player. So I hope that will make sense. The delta time is going to be get world delta seconds, and that's just the time in between each frame, just so it's going to be nice and smooth and always perfect for the frame rate. And the interp speed is how fast it's going to be. I'm going to set this to two, but you can set this to whatever speed that you like. You can really just change this about, mess with it to get the perfect values for you. And then the return value of that will go into the new location 
of the set world location like so. And this is now going to allow us to move our camera based upon the spline's position. So I'll select this and I'll hit C to comment it, naming this move camera. And that is all the code we need to do. We'll compile and save this. Now if we go to the viewport, we just need to change some little settings on the camera so it is going to work perfectly for us. So if we select the camera boom, what we can do is untick all of the camera settings here. So use pawn control rotation, inherit pitch, yaw and roll. We just want to untick all of those as we don't want the player to be controlling where the camera goes. We don't want the player to move the camera. It is just purely based upon the spline closest to the player's position. And then we're going to select the follow camera and we want to set the location from relative to world. So we'll compile and save that. So that is now absolute location instead. So now let's go into our level here and what we're going to do is just drag in our camera spline here and then we can simply just rotate this and move it to be where we want. So I want it to start here, then if I select the next spline point I can move this out and hold down alt and left click to get another spline point here and I can just keep moving these out and putting them where I want them to be. So where I want my camera to go is where I'm going to be placing these. So again you can go wherever you want, I'm just going to make it go a little bit funky just to show that this is working. So again, this probably isn't going to look amazing, but you can just set this to be however you want, just so that it is going to be working. Again, mine is just going to be like this, just to showcase the camera is following where the spline is going. So we can just do something along these lines. And again, the more points you have, the smoother the movement is going to be. So that's why I'm doing this many points, as you can see here. So once you've got all of those in for where you want, you can see this. What I might do is just move the whole thing over. If I select the root of it, there we go, I might just move this further back here. And if you want it as well, you can click on these individual points and then you have this line appear. If you click on one of these and you move this, you're kind of changing the angle of this as well. So again, you can make it look even smoother. So let's just hit play and test this out. So you can see we're quite low to the ground, which I don't really want actually. So what I'm gonna do is just move this up. And now if we hit play again, we're now on that spline point. This is the kind of height I want. And if we to move this over again, we can see that this is now going to be following where my spline has gone. So it didn't do all that funky stuff there. I think that's probably just because of how far away I am from the player. It's kind of just connecting straight to the next one, which is kind of good because then it shows that you can then just make it not the smoothest thing and it will still work for what you want. It will still be smooth. But let's say we get a little bit closer. I imagine this might do a bit more of those funky movements that I've just set up there. As you can see there, it's kind of jumping between them. So again, really just set it up for how you want and we're going to get this nice smooth spline movement so the camera is following where the spline has gone so we can set this up to be where we want so for example if you were to have like an object here and you want the camera to go behind it if this was just set up on the player it would normally go in front of it but we can have this go wherever we want so we can have it go behind an object round a corner up down with the player still going straight forwards with the player still going straight so for example here i'll have it go up a little bit as you can see it went up and it goes down whereas the player isn't going up and down at all but again you get the gist i'm kind of rambling on at this point but this allows you to just create a nice spline based camera system and if i to move my mouse the camera isn't moving as that's not how it is set up you can still obviously move the player in weird ways like this because i haven't got it set up for proper side scroller movements but we have got the camera system set up instead though so i think that'll be it for the video as we've done everything we want to do what we've done is created this nice spline based camera system in which you can control where the camera is going to go based upon this spline here as you can see perfectly like so so i can just control that and it's going to go up a little bit and back down and then up here so thanks so much for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it and hope you found it helpful and if you did please do make sure to like and subscribe down below so thanks so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one